Hello my friends, my name is Ellen. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my Southern Kitchen and the 384th episode here on Ellen's Homemade Delights. Hope all you're doing well and staying safe and healthy. Cobblers are my all-time favorite summer dessert. Strawberry, blueberry, peach, you name it. So today I'm gonna share with all of you a peach cobbler recipe. And it's the summertime and you know what that means. Fresh peach season. So we're gonna make this peach cobbler using fresh peaches. And my friends, it is the bomb.com. It's gonna be so delicious, simple and easy to make. And we're gonna put a cinnamon sugar topping on it. Mm -mm. How yummy does that sound? And this peach cobbler is gonna taste like how your grandmother used to make. And when you taste this peach cobbler, this will bring back memories of being in your grandmother's kitchen. And I'll post a complete recipe along with the instructions down below in the description box. And also check out my cobbler recipes playlist and my previous video, Southern Butter Pound Cake. I'll post link to both of those down below in the description box. So grab your flour, your cinnamon sugar, and your peaches sugar, because we're about to bake some peach cobbler magic in my southern kitchen. Here we go! All right, my friends, the first thing we're going to do is prep the peaches. Over here, I have eight beautiful, fresh, juicy peaches that I washed. So now we're going to peel them and slice them. All right, my friends, I got all my peaches together and I put it in my large bowl. Now it's time to add in the other ingredients. Two our peaches, we're going to add in a fourth of a cup each of white and pet light brown sugar. One teaspoon of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Two teaspoons of cornstarch. A fourth of a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. And a pinch, which is an eighth of a teaspoon each, of ground nutmeg and allspice. And one and a half teaspoons of pure vanilla extract. And give everything a quick stir until it's well incorporated. All right, my friends, I'm through stirring up the peaches. It created the glaze. Mmm, I can smell the spices. All right, perfect. Now we're ready to pour them into the pan. We're going to pour them in an ungreased 9 times 13 inch long baking dish. All right, my friends, now we're going to put our peaches in the oven. We're going to put it in the preheated 425 degree oven, and we're going to let them bake for 10 minutes. And while that's happening, we're going to get started on our crust. In my medium bowl, I have one cup of soft rice and flour. And we're going to add in a fourth of a cup each of white and pat light brown sugar. Give that a quick whisk. Until it's well incorporated. Alright, next we're going to add in six tablespoons of cold unsalted butter. That I cut in the, in the cubes. And using my pastry cutter, or you can use your hands, we're just going to cut the butter in until it reaches coarse cornmeal. And as soon as I get this done, I'll bring you back. All right, my friends, this is what the crust looks like. Nice coarse crumbs. All right, that looks great. Now it's time to add in the last ingredient. A fourth of a cup of boiling evaporated milk and stir it until it's well combined. All right, my friends, I have taken my peaches out of the oven and I'm through mixing the dough. Now we're ready to put on top the peaches. We're gonna take some dough, just gonna drop some spoonfuls right on top. like so all right as soon as I get all my batter on top 
I'll bring you back. All right, my friends, this is what the cobbler looks like when I put the crust on top. There's one more thing we got to add to our peach cobbler, our cinnamon sugar topping. I have three tablespoons of white sugar and one teaspoon of ground cinnamon. I'm just going to sprinkle right on top. Mmm, I love the smell of cinnamon sugar. Don't that look good? All right, beautiful. You ready to go into the oven? We're going to put it at the same temperature we cooked the peaches, 425, and we're going to let it bake for 30 minutes. All right, I'll bring you back. My friends, look at this gorgeous, hot, and steamy peach cobbler. Mmm, it smells amazing. It smells like my grandmother's house. It's nice and golden brown on top. Oh, I just love the smell of freshly baked peach cobbler. I can't wait to dig in. All right, so now we're gonna let the cobbler cool for a few minutes and then I'll fix me up a plate and I'll give it a taste. All right, my friends, I fixed me up a plate and you can't have peach cobbler without a good old scoop of vanilla ice cream or you could top it with whipped cream. Now it's about to go into my belly. Time for the best part, the tasting. Here we go. Grab me some peaches and a crust. Mm-mm, look at that. Mmm! The peaches is tender. The crust is light and airy. Love that cinnamon sugar topping. I could taste all the spices. Mmm, ain't nothing like peach cobbler and ice cream. This is incredible, my friends. This would be great to serve for you. Barbecue cookouts, family reunions, fish fries. Please give this recipe a try. This deserves another bite. Serve it with some ice cream. Yum o. Oh. Peach cobbler delicious. My friends, many thanks so much for watching and joining me in my southern kitchen today. If you enjoyed this video and this recipe, please give it a thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to share this with your family and friends. Like, comment, subscribe to my channel, and click on the bell so that way you'll be notified when my new videos come out. And also hashtag Ellen's Homemade Delights or send me an email, Ellen's Homemade Delights at gmail.com. I would love to see your beautiful creations with my recipes. I'll see you next time. Let's eat, much love, and stay safe.